they the twos, but he the one. Hey, what's up my peoples, Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the SND, The One. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have a nice image of The One. He is, he is The One. On this side, we have SND. On this side, SND. Up top, SND. On the bottom, words, things. Barcodes on the back, another image there of the one, and on the bottom we have warning don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And we have Sad Pac Man. It's where we get those in Transformers reviews, but that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the one, and this is SND's take on a uh, mainline scaled IDW Optimus Prime. And here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode, and yes, he is the one. Um, apparently, Optimus Prime has joined the bloodline. I don't know, but hey. Let's get in close here so we can take a look not at those abs, but at that noggin. There's the noggin. And not a bad head sculpt. Um, I do wish that maybe like the mouth plate came out a little bit further just to give the face a little more dimension. As it is, the face looks a bit on the flat side. So I would have liked a bit more dimension there to that face sculpt, but overall, not too bad. Not too bad. But coming down here to the chest, you got some nice transparent blue for those chest windshields. And you got the abs there. Got some little bits of yellow, which is really the only paint outside of these dots of yellow on uh, on the robot mode and on the truck mode. And the blue for the eyes, there's no paint on this guy. Just those couple little dots, which I could have benefited from. Um, definitely the smokestacks could have benefited from being done in silver instead of this light gray plastic. Eh, yeah, no, but it is what it is. I'm moving down the legs. See the wheels there, you do have rubber tires. There's big old feeties. And moving up the back, you can see it is a very clean transformation. All in all, looks pretty good. Just wish we had a little bit more going on paint-wise. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head can rotate. He can look up, do a little bit of squirrel. Can look down, um, his little antenna. His ears, his horns, whatever you want to call them, can move forward and back if you needed to. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You got bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. So you have a nice full range of movement there. Make sure that the wheel piece stays in place. You have wrist rotation. Um, the hands are a little bit poseable. You have a ball joint here at the thumbs. So you can move up and down and rotate. The hands can open and close. Uh, you do have waist rotation. You do have an ab crunch going on there. You can kind of extend his body as you can see, so I can give you a bit of ab crunchage and whatnot. Um, as far as legs go, legs can go forward that far on a nice ratchet. They actually go a bit further because you have a hinge right here as well. So you can get those legs to move up even more. You can do them high kicks if you want. Uh, can move back, move the butt plate out of the way. Can move back about that far. Outward, if we move these out of the way, uh, move that, get that out of the way, just get things out of the way. You get out that far, almost the full splits. You get thigh rotation. You do have a double jointed knee, although the upper joint is quite tight, but you can get it moving. Oops, you don't want to undo things either. But you get double jointed knees, so you have a nice full range of movement there. The feet, uh, they can move up some, they can move down, and you get some ankle tiltage. You also get a toe joint. Um, it can move downward if you need it for any posing. And again, you have your ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his big old blaster here, just cast all in black. Here's it. Very simple, very basic, not a whole lot to it. Um, you do get two swords here, uh, done in the transclear orange. You get some molded detail in there, you get two of those. Uh, you also do get this piece 
right here and this is basically a, uh, a little clip piece that you can plug onto a stand you basically take this and shove it firmly up the gooch and then you can plug this onto a stand and you can get some nice actiony poses what kind of stand will this work on i don't know i think this is a uh oh sorry dude Sorry, I think this is a uh, a five millimeter port. So I guess any stand that has a five millimeter port, you can plug this onto. Um, and you also get some extra hands if you don't want to keep the posable hands on him. You do get hand options. You just get a pair of closed fists. You get a pair of splayed open no hands or jazz hands, whatever you want to call them. And you also get a pair of pointing hands because you know Prime has to point. He has to point heroically. And of course you can wield his weapons. It's the typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. Just get that in his hand like so. He does hold it pretty securely as far as the swords go. They just have these tabs here on the sides which will tab on to these slots right here in this panel so you can just take the blade have it however you want plug that on like so and he's got his sword so you can pew pew hack hack pew pew stab stab and all of that good stuff right there so there you have that and now for Gumparas Hunt here he is with Earthrise, Optimus Prime, and again, you can see here what they were going for. They're definitely going for more of a kind of mainline scale here. This is definitely intended to be displayed with your mainline stuff here, so there you go. And one more thing to show off here is we can open up his chest, open up this little central panel here open that up you can see some more detail in there open this up and open this open dang it open but anyway you can open that up and you see you do have a little matrix in there and you may need something to help you pop it out because it's actually in there pretty pretty good like really good like extraordinarily good so good you can't you can't even get it out there we go a little matrix here. Stand prime. You can see little matrix. It's done in die cast. It's a little metal matrix. And there's a little bit of die cast on this figure. The matrix. Um, you do have some die cast that is in uh, some armatures here. You also get die cast right here. The side view mirrors are die cast as well. So you do get a little bit of die cast content in the figure. There you go. He can light our darkest hour with a pretty dark matrix, which is kind of ironic. But yeah, no, a hey, things you can do if you want to do it. So that is basically it for the robot mode, which looks good. Again, my only real complaint is just I wish there was a little bit of, you know, a little bit extra paint on it, like on the smokestacks, maybe on the faceplate as well. Would have been nice, but... Oh no, looks pretty good, but let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's now. Don't let the size of this guy fool you, because this transformation is quite, quite involved. So, <laughs> let's just get started here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up these forearm panels here. We're going to rotate the hand palm down, and then swing the fist into the forearm. We can then close this up. This little wheel piece here, you want to just kind of push it up and then just tuck it down into the forearm like so. Once we have done that, we want to take the smokestack here and slide it up like that. And then we are going to pull out the shoulder. Just extend that out. You want to come back here, you have this panel that you're going to untab, and this is going to swing to the full front, like so. And once you've done that, you're going to rotate the arm with the bicep, kind of get this out of the way so you can see what's happening, and you're going to bend the elbow at the upper joint here, like that. Just have that sitting like so, bring that down so that all lines up. These panels right here, you can just kind of leave up here and keep that out of the way for now. But that is one. This is where my tongue stops working. And that is how you want that looking. Again, make sure the little tire piece stays tucked in. But that's how you want that looking. And second verse, just like the first.
Okay, so we got the arms done. So now what you want to do is just grab its upper body here. Just give it a pull and undo all of this like that. We're going to open up the chest and these sections here are on, are on sliders. Let's take them and just slide them out like so. You want to undo this little center piece here. Just bring that up so you can undo his head. Bring all this back. This backpack section here is on double hinge, so just give it a little tug until all of that extends up. Like that. You want to flip this little section under, bring this all down, rotate his head around. Now for this section here, you just want to straighten them out and slide it forward. Just straighten that out and slide it forward. And that will level that out right there. And you're just going to leave that as is for now. So what's going to happen here is we're going to now just take his abs here. And actually, first thing we need to do is come here. We need to unclip these little side sections on either side. And that will free this up so we can bring it down and crack it in half and bring these sections down. Now you want to take the wheel bring it out and slide it up, bring it out and slide it up. Now there's a little retaining tab that I did break on this side and that breakage was totally my fault because when I was trying to get everything together, I was just pushing on the wheel and I, and I just snapped that little tab off, but that's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to just keep that wheel in place. I mean, the wheel will stay in, will stay in place regardless once, once we get everything together, but, um, yeah, that, that breakage was totally my fault. So just be mindful of what you're pushing against and where your fingers are when you are trying to get all this together so you don't break that tiny little tab there. So anyway, once we have done that, you're going to take these little bits here, just fold these into the body. We're going to come back up here. We're going to swing this out and then swing out these white panels here. It's going to make the bumper bring all this up and bring that out like so. So now what's going to happen here is we have a bit of a tricky pot here. This is this is where it gets very fiddly. A couple of fiddly parts on this transformation anyway. So what's going to happen here is we want to bring these hinges down. You want to make sure this is on a slider too, so make sure it's a slid all the way back. And what you're going to do here, you want to make sure this is up as well. So you're going to bring the arms back, fold this hinge in, and there's a little tab in here that will go into a slot in the forearm right here. So at this point, you may want to bring this panel down just so you can see what's going on. And you have these little, you can see these little tabs that are sticking up. We're going to go underneath this panel here. Make sure things are out of the way. And this part can be a bit tricky because you can't really see too well what's happening. But... It's, it's doable. It's doable, it's fiddly, but it's doable. And try to get those little tabs underneath this panel here. You can do it better once everything else is together. And this is where I broke this tab because I was trying to get this pushed up and I started pushing on this and I, you know. So again, be mindful, be mindful of where you are applying pressure. So. Once you have that done, to the best of your ability, there is a little gray tab that will go up in here. If you have everything in the right place, it should just drop into place like that. And that's how you want that looking. And there's a little piece, a little armature right behind the wheel that goes into a groove up in there and that will keep that wheel in place also. So we got that side. So now let's try to do the other side. Okay. I think that's the best we're going to get it right now, but that's roundabout how you want it looking. So now we can just close these windshields up and we're going to bring this whole section down. And there are tabs that will go into slots right here on either side. So this is hopefully where everything will get nice and tidy. If you have everything in the right spot, which I do not, but there we go. Again, once you have this, once you have this front grill in place, you can kind of get everything else kind of lined up, and this will kind of help pull everything together. You can see here. See now you can kind of tidy this up. This front panel definitely helps you to tidy everything up, so it kind of helps close up those little gaps. So there you go. 
So that's how you want that looking. So now you've done that. We can take this top section here, just take Prime's head. You can bend his little horns back, just fold them back. So you can clear that. You have tabs and slots right up front. Just push that down and that will sit right there like that. And these panels, you can just kind of keep here, keep them out of the way for now. But there you have the front of the cab pretty much done. You can bring these little side view mirrors out. And there you go. So moving on. So now that we have them in gear truck mode, now we need to work on the legs and there's a lot to do here as well. So first we're gonna start off with uh, with his booty. So what we need to do here is first just kind of untab this back half of the skirt. Little hip skirt here, untab that. And we're going to take his butt and his butt will slide up. That's right, his butt will slide up. So <laughs> slide, slide his butt up like so okay use that get that out of the way there we go and you take these little red panels and they will flip in like so and just leave those butt plates up like that and you got that done so now let's get this all transformed up so what you're going to do is you're going to bend the knee then you want to open up the slide panel here like that you're going to take a little kneecap Bring this up. You want to feed it in head first, right there. Feed it into the leg and then close that up like that. And then you can straighten the leg out. Now, what we're going to do here is come to the back, untap this section, just bring this up. Get this little armature here. That is die cast. But bring that up, get that out of the way as best you can. And we're going to take this whole front section here, just pull this up. It is on a slider, but it's hard to kind of get it to actually slide out. Undo this white panel as well, and just bring all this out. It's on a double hinge, so you can swing all this out. Now, in theory, this would just slide up. And I've loosened the screw on it, too, and it's still, like, it wants to fight me. There you go. Once you get it moving, it kind of slides up on its own. You can see there, it's supposed to slide up. I loosened that screw, but it's still like, it locks in very tightly and it's hard to get it out. But once you've done that, you're going to just bring it out. You're gonna take it, rotate it, swing it down, swing it around, and you want it in that orientation there. So we're just gonna leave that there for now. So what we're gonna do here is we can just take the foot here it's on double hinge so we can just swing that out of the way we're going to take this section here with the wheels we're going to bring it down as far as we can on that double hinge so we can take this blue section here and kind of push it past those tires and bring it to the front like that once you've done that you take this whole section and compress it up and in and then take this little white panel and fold that in like that oops before we do that my apologies i did this a lot better in the jti watch the jti just watch it it's i did it better here <laughs> fold that little blue panel in then close that up fold that down there we go so now that we have done that we can take this section here just kind of bring that up on the double hinge and now we're going to take the foot the foot is on a slider so you want to take this slide it up slide it slide it slide it up like that open this section up just unfold that unfold that this section is on a slider so just slide it out like so so what's going to happen here is you want to bring this up now this will sit over this section right here and then try to like compress it down on that little slider bit which again doesn't like to do it because that slider likes to be little pain in the butox. If you can get it to compress down the way it's supposed to, it should stay. And then this will just kind of come up and over on this hinge here, on oh, this little blue panel here. You want to fold in that, that that stress mark again. That was my fault because I thought it was this panel that flipped up. So I just went, and I was like, oh no, that's not supposed to move. That's supposed to move. So yeah, it was, again, mistake on my part. But fold the toes up. And then what you want here is you want these hinges to be at this angle right here, just kind of peeking out over this white panel so you can just close that up. And that's going to sit like that. And that's how you want that looking. So get that all straightened out. 
and there you have a leg all done, and the second verse is just like the first. Okay, so we got both sides done here, so now what's going to happen is we are going to first make sure that this whole waist section is in place, so you want everything sitting in there just like that. So now you want to bring the legs up, you want to make sure these blue pieces go up over the butt plate, and there is a tab slot connection right up in here that we need to engage. So just take that and pop it in. Again, bring that up and over. Take that and pop it into place. Tab the legs together. Tab these sections together. It's just a little hook tab right here. And this connection is not good. This connection is honestly kind of crap. And it will probably come undone a couple times while I'm trying to get the rest of this together. But that's what you want it to look like. So now that we have done that, we're going to take these sections here. They're on sliders of their own, so you want to slide them in. And they're going to tuck up underneath the smokestack here. So what you want to do basically is you just want to push it in and push it up at the same time. So just kind of push that in, push that up, and it'll pop itself in. Same thing here, just kind of get that in place. Again, just kind of push it in and push it up and it should cooperate and just pop itself into place just like that. And get all that squared away and make sure everything here is in place. Okay, cool. And we just need to bring this panel out, bring all this down. There is a tab slot connection right here, so just tab that in. And here is another issue that I have, and this is a case of I could be doing something wrong, but I'm not sure. Bring this tab down, bring it around. Again, you have the tab slot connection here. Now, the issue that I always have is that I can get one side tabbed in, but then the other side pops out. And I pop that in, that side pops out. And I can never get both sides to actually stay in, and I don't know why. It seems like I have everything where it's supposed to go. I still could be doing something wrong, I'm not sure, but for some reason I can never get both of those panels to stay in. I can only ever get one secured, so again, could be an issue with the figure, it could be something that I'm missing, I don't know, but it's just, just something to note. But there you go, we got all nice and squirrels and this actually didn't come undone. Hey, at least something wanted to cooperate with me, but there you go! There you have the one in his Ultima. Even with rubber tires, you can get a somewhat spin out of them. But there he is in his alt mode. And it is definitely an involved transformation. I think more involved than it needs to be for a figure of this size. I feel like this transformation was a bit, a, a bit too much. But here he is in his alt mode. And not bad. It's a red and blue truck. Surprised? I know I am every single time. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Okay, you got a nice detail here for the front. Again, seems like the only paint is just those yellow bits here on the front. Again, you got a nice transparent blue windshield. Just got blue paint here for the side windows. The rims done in white. You can see those screws there kind of popping out at you. Again, the smokestacks, man, that really could have benefited from some nice silver paints, but oh well. There you have the back. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad, but again, the transformation is, it's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah, there is the top, there is the bottom. You got nice rubber tires. He does roll as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Earthrise Prime. So you can see how that works out. And again, you can see the scale uh, they were going for here. And here he is with Earthrise Prime's trailer, because you're probably asking, hey, can this tow a trailer? Um, yes, it can. Um, this, this is a five millimeter port, so it can plug onto it, but it's not, again, this will come undone because this connection's not good, not good at all. It can connect to it, but it's, it's, you can see it just, it hangs really far back and doesn't look all that great, but it works, kinda, sorta, maybe, maybe I don't know, but, mm, there you go. 
So there you have the one, and um, yeah, this figure is definitely a mixed bag for me. I, I feel like this figure is suffering from, like, identity crisis or something, because, you know, it's it's a mainline scaled figure, but it really wants to be a masterpiece, and that's like, I feel like that's kind of to its detriment. I mean, the robot mode looks pretty good. Again, could have benefited from some more paint apps just to make, you know, just to complete the look instead of a lot of the kind of flat gray plastic that they use some silver in places. But, um, you know, the, the, the robot mode for the most part looks good. The truck mode looks pretty good. It definitely has its fiddle factor, kind of a high fiddle factor, not to that frustrating degree of fiddle factorness, but definitely a high fiddle factor just, you know, getting him all together. So not a frustrating transformation, but not a fun transformation either. And you definitely have to exercise some cautions because there are small parts you have to move around that you can break if you're not careful, if you're not mindful of what you're doing. But yeah, I feel like this is doing a bit too much for the scale. I think they could have brought it back just a bit. So yeah, this figure is very, like, middle of the line for me. Like, it's not a great figure. It's not a bad figure, but it's not a great figure either. I dig the idea here, but there's definitely some room for improvement, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this figure for yourself, you can pick it up from BombusBee.net. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. And of course, you can always go to BigBadToyStore.com for your Transformers needs. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the SND, the one, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey, Pram! Bumblebee leaked in the- Oh, hey! What's with the new getup? Oh, I just thought I'd try out a new look. You know, finally bring some style into this team, unlike you guys. But, uh, um, um, okay? 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 That isn't like you. Isn't there something you want to say, Ironhide? What? No, oh, come on. Isn't there something you want to say, Ironhide? Uh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know very well what I'm talking about. It's written all over your face. Come on. Isn't there something you want to say, Ironhide? Uh, 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 but Pram! There it is! I'm weak! Ah! Yes, you are, old friend. Yes, you are.